Um, I know it's Monday, but I don't know what the date is. <laughs> I'm on my way to um, my interview for that middle school position. So I figured I would just bring you guys along with me. Um, when I talked to the assistant principal on the phone when she called me to schedule it, um, she had said for me to come a little bit early so that they could give me a copy of the questions. I figured I would also share the questions um, that they asked. Tomorrow I'm supposed to talk to the principal at another school um, on the phone. We haven't scheduled like an in-person interview yet, but we've talked on the phone a couple times. And that position is like elementary level behavior. And I don't, I say elementary level because I really don't even know for sure what grade levels it's gonna be. And so behavior, they call it, they used to call it EBD. I think they call it BSU now, Behavior Support Unit or something like that. Um, so, like I said, I don't have an exact, like a legitimate interview scheduled yet with him. He's supposed to just call me tomorrow and give me some more info about, like, the be the actual behaviors that are in the classroom, um, some info on, like, the paras and just the caseload, just, you know, things in general. I think he, he pretty much just said he just really wanted to be transparent about it. And if I'm, you know, if I end up not being interested, it's not gonna hurt his feelings. He, he just wants to let me know, like. So, I mean, I, I do feel like that is probably gonna be a more stressful position and environment in general, just because of the behaviors and things like that. Um, so if I get, if it comes down to like having a choice between the two, that's gonna be kind of rough just because my son goes to the school where the behavior position is. So it would make things a little easier in that way. I'm about 15 minutes earlier than I planned on being. So I just sat here and jotted down some questions that I wanted to ask if they gave me the opportunity to ask any questions. Um, <clears throat> and I really just was wondering like the caseload, the class sizes and how many periods, like they're, they have six class periods, how many of those periods will I have kids? And like around how many kids would I have each class period? Is there a para? Um, do I share a classroom? Just like some things that I am just kind of wondering about. I teach two class periods. I do share a classroom. It's in a classroom, not a portable. I technically kind of have a para for second period, even though I don't for fourth period. My class sizes, the biggest one I had was 10. The other one was seven. And then my case load itself was, I think around like 25. So, um, just kind of like comparing the two, because I know this caseload is going to be larger, obviously, than the elementary position. They usually keep those behavior unit classes kind of small. So it's just things to consider, that's all. So I'm going to sit here for another few minutes and then head in. All right, so... The first question was, tell us what motivated you to apply for the ESE position. Second question was, sorry, I'm like driving and reading. Describe your classroom in a typical day. Your students will have different levels of ability, both cognitively and physically. How would you facilitate instruction of a lesson for students with mixed ability, including those on modified curriculum and or with severe learning disabilities. Number four, describe how you keep parents informed and involve them in the life of your classroom and the larger community. Five, how do you incorporate interactive whole group instruction and or cooperative learning groups in your classroom? Six, how do you incorporate goal setting in your classroom? 
Uh, seven, what is your experience in analyzing, analyzing data to ensure students are receiving the correct level of support or acceleration? Eight, these classes cover all subject areas throughout the day. What do you feel of your, are your areas of strengths and weaknesses for assisting students academically? Nine, which techniques would you use to de-escalate a student who is exhibiting either physical aggression or emotional outbursts? 10, why are you the best candidate for this position? <clears throat> so, um, there was a couple of times where I did show them a couple of things in my little, whatever you call this thing, notebook thing. I, with the question about goals, I showed them that smart goal thing that I wanted to use. I had not used that yet, but it was something that I found that I was going to use for this coming school year if I was still in my other position. And then the question about like a typical day in your classroom, I showed them my things that we would do for like vocab words and then the like common lit reading comprehension stuff that I had. So I did open up the notebook two times to show that and he wanted, he asked if he could take a copy of the smart goal thing. So I gave that to him. Um, so it was kind of, <laughs> kind of funny, but I, I don't know how I feel about it. Honestly, it sounds like there's so there's no para. You are in a class. I would be in a classroom by myself. I would be next door to the VE classroom, which is the low IQ, which is the other position that they have available. But I did not apply for that one. I really don't know that I want to do self-contained anymore. Um, well, I say that, but then the other position for the other school is self-contained. But anyways, um, what was I saying? <laughs> Okay, so I'd be in a classroom on my own, no pair or nothing. Um, the class sizes would be like 10 to 15. And four class periods out of the six, I would have kids. So there'd be two class periods of the day that I would have for, like one would be for planning and one for would be for IEP writing. Excuse me, which would be good to have because... It sounds like there's like 40 to 50 on the caseload, so that's quite a bit. Um, it was the principal, the assistant principal, and the staffing specialist in on the interview. And so yeah, I, he said that he will probably make a decision by the end of the day um, because they are finishing up interviews today. Um, and what else? I don't even know what else I was going to say. Oh, I did tell him that, because he mentioned something about there being a lot of positions open, which kind of led me to believe that, like, he was kind of letting me know, like, without letting me know, like, that he wasn't probably going to offer me the position. I just felt like him mentioning that there's other positions available was kind of like a hint, like, I don't know. Anyways, I'm probably reading too deep. Whatever. I did mention that I am talking to the other principal tomorrow. And if I do end up having any more info on, like, the position that I'm talking to the principal tomorrow about, I might either do, like, another video, like, once I, maybe just once I decide on what I'm doing or if I even get a decision like if anybody even offers me the position I'll I'll let you know all right have a good day